Hello, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. We're back with some more Mass Effect, obviously. Obviously. Um, where, where, what did we do last time? So we've just taken the Justicar in, which is fine. Uh, we've got loyalty missions to do, we've got Overlord to do. Ben, you might want to speak with Tally. She seems very worried about something. Yeah, I'm sure she does, I'm sure she does. We need to talk to the crew, first of all. We need to speak with everybody once again, as is customary at the beginning of, of an episode. Uh, we need to, I guess, accept the loyalty missions from Tally and Samara. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? Get everyone at the same store or something? <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you think uh, we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could, but no, there's of always course more she we could upgrade. That's, that's fair. As for the crew, you'd have to ask. I assume uh -huh. everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb yep. on the mute, but I think Same I made my old. point. What, what about do you the think squad? about the people we're picking? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Uh -huh. Well, I always liked Tally, so let's just move on. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Okay. That's it for now. Okay, it's quite See cool getting his uh, individual take on everybody, but... Right. Um... Is there... Who do I really need to go and speak with? I need to... Did we have any messages in the private terminal? We may well have done. We may well have done. There are not. Okay, cool. Kelly, do you want to speak about Samara? There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. She is so elegant and gorgeous. Too bad her manner is just so cold. Yeah, you're pretty. One of them. I didn't recruit her for her looks. <laughs> the Normandy already has you, Kelly. Ah. Oh, Shepard. I wish there were time to get to know you better. Can we have dinner? Why don't you join me in my cabin for a meal? It would give us the chance to talk. That sounds wonderful. I've been hoping for some private time with you. Ooh. Lead the way. What now? Now? Here and now? But the fish are dead. The f Oh. Well, we don't get to see the meal? Goodness. I haven't stayed up that late since my college days. I had a wonderful evening. Okay. Thank you, Shepard. What? What? I noticed the fish <laughs> tank up in your cabin. If you'd like, I could feed your fish <laughs> while you're away. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I'd appreciate that, Kelly. It's my pleasure. Ah. Anyway, oh. What's up? Ah, oh, well, that was worth everything. That was worth everything. Thank you. Thank you. You should have really have done that first, but maybe you don't know what I had in my personal cabin. Great. Great. That means I will not be losing any more fish. Okay. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. All right. So where where is the Justicar? Where would she have gone? Oh, she wants to look on the onto the void, right? So the observation deck. So is she with Kasumi? Oh, there's two. I have two observation decks. Okay. So, oh gosh. Okay. What's this area of the ship? This is one of the ship's observation decks. They provide a sweeping outside view for off-duty personnel. This room is a structural weakness. Any transparent material is weaker than our armor. The elusive man predicted you would object. In combat, the observation rooms are sealed and depressurized. Sheets of a blade of armor are extended to cover the windows. She knows the questions we're going to ask, guys. She knows the questions. Okay, let's speak with Samara then. Uh, let's in yeah, let's investigate first because I feel like I haven't. Oh, she is interesting. Shepherd. Okay, hello. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man, or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens, and doesn't share them with others. As it should be. Okay, many burdens, doesn't share them with others, as it should be, yep, perfect. So what's she doing? She's just meditating on biotic power? That's pretty cool, if that's what she's doing. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. Is it? I mean, I think that's more my choice, but uh, fine. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? 
I believe I can use some of them to increase our fuel reserves so we can explore further. Shall I tell you what is required? But yeah. Show me what it would take. Yes. What's this? Ship upgrade? Extended fuel cells. Perfect. It's a lot of element zero, but that makes sense. That's fine. Okay, let's just talk then. Let's talk about you. If we can. She seems very powerful. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. Oh. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. Uh, yeah. Well, wait, wait, haven't we done this? Kind of? Maybe. No, this must be new. How much do you know about our mission? Ah, it is I new. I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. Okay. Does Samara have... I think, Remy, you said she does have a loyalty mission. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? Fair enough. I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. Hmm. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. Um, is it though? Well, yeah, I guess it is, but I would imagine this is to do with her loyalty mission, no? I mean, it must be, surely. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I think is that it? it we can't investigate any more. Let I'd me like just try and. Criminal you were chasing. Right? You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. I should get back to. Work. I bet I get a little bit of renegade for that. My pleasure, Commander. Do I? Ooh, extended cells. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, okay. Uh where is where is Tally again? She's oh yeah, no, she's at the engineering, isn't she? Kasumi, anything to say? People are talking out there. And I hear it all. Well tell me it, please. Oh, you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. Mm, wasn't I a thought date. she was coming on to me at first. But maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Maybe. That's true. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Does it? I don't know if it runs that quiet. <laughs> I don't think it runs as quietly as that, personally. Um, okay. I don't imagine you can get a romance option with Samara. I would be very surprised, but we're not going to. Shepard. We're not going to. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Of course it can. In the middle of some calibrations. Of course it can. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need. Okay. Um. So I need to go down to engineering, where all the weirdos live. Uh, so we got Jack, Grunt, and Tally down there. Tally's not too weird. Tally's not too weird. Have I talked to everybody on this level? Yeah, Bar Miranda, because we 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 are trying to not go as much as I want to talk to her I'm just scared I'll press something wrong and it will lock something in so I, I just want to wait a little bit uh, she's in here right yeah there she is perfect Shepard I'm glad you came by I may need your help I just received a message from the migrant fleet the Admiralty board has accused me of treason what I'm scared Shepard why why? Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Treason? That seems like a bit much. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working uh, with you. Of course. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a quarian is accused of treason? 
there's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? Not interesting, though. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. Are we actually going to be able to visit the flotilla? That is something we have very much wanted to what do. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? I guess it technically we don't have is, right? resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Okay. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. Ah, she well. had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Exile? Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So is it, it's the fact that we are working with Cerberus, that's, that's what it is, or at least that's what we think it is, right? That's the easy, you know, finger pointing, but... So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Okay, good. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Right, okay, well this will be interesting. I really want to see the flotilla. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. <laughs> yes! I was going to book passage on another no. ship. No! I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank of course you, there Shepard. is. Of course there is. 100%. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. Good. Good. Okay, awesome. However, we are on a Cerberus ship. But, but by the sounds of it, the admiral board didn't have a problem with that. 50,000 starships. This is going to be good. I've always wanted to see the flotilla. Jack, are you in here? There she is. Hello, Jack. Hey. What do you think of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Well. <laughs> um. What do you think of our mission? I know when someone's got murder on their mind. The Collectors are out to kill us. Rather do it to them first. Ah, uh, I want to talk about us. That kind of sounds like it's third base. Are we on third base? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, but let's leave that for now. Let's leave okay. that for now. I don't want to press anything that might bite us in the ass later on. I still got to think on it. I'm not sure whether Miranda, Tally, or Jack just yet. I need to make a decision soon. But I don't know. Port Cargo. This is Grunt, right? Are we going to get more lore on his ancestors? Shepherd. Just checking in. How you doing? Battlemaster, I have everything. Clan, kin, and enemies to fight. Okay. That's all for now. So I think when they start to actually like completely run out of voice notes, they say something pretty positive. So I think we're at that point with Grunt and Grunt and Jacob. Possibly, Jack? Possibly. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, 
Even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. Jack, Subject Zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Um. I guess we just go and check out the Shadow Broker ship, as was advised by you guys in the comments, just to see if there's anything new about. I don't necessarily think there will be, but we might as well take a look. Um, where is it? Shadow Breaker's base is there, is that right? I hope so. I hope we're right. So do these repairs ever get finished? Or not? I don't really know. Ah, he was probably talking to me. Okay. Maybe we do- oh god, there are an awful old dossiers here. Awful old dossiers. We're definitely going to have to read all of those. Maybe we'll read them all now. Maybe we will. Have we got time? I think so. Yeah, fuck it. We'll read all of them now. Okay, we'll come back to those. I'm not doing all those now. We'll be here all day. We'll be here all day. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Investment ops. Are there any new ones? Mission we've got, got, got. Oh, report? Success! Admiral Hackett and the 5th Fleet have ambushed a colony. Great! Money. Okay, good. Mission report. Failure. Ah! Search for Foundation's antibiotic tests have been blocked by Citadel legislation. Maybe I could have had some... Maybe I could have done something with it. What's this? Citadel news agencies are trying to place more reporters in the Terminus systems. Use your resources to set up these journalists with safe houses and reliable contacts so they can bring back... Oh yeah, of course. Of course. Why would we not? Why would we not? Blue listed. The Blue Suns are becoming dangerously powerful, run a galaxy-wide expose on their corruption and tendency to turn on their employers. It will send business to their competitors. I like that. Culling the flock. Culling the flock. I like it. Smear campaign. How do we do? Success! The politician retires from public service after your smear campaign. Good. Uh, just reward success. The police quietly slipped you a cut from their raid on the Red Sand Factory. Perfect. Money, money, money. Uh, clashes between countries on the Batarian homeworld of Karashan are coming frequent. Make sure no nation state gains more control than the others by regulating weapon sales to all sides. Okay, yeah, sure. We'll play fair. Chemical warfare. Mm. Binary Helix is trying to develop hormone implants for Alliance soldiers that fall outside the Citadel's generic treaty laws. The company is prepared to be very generous if you let them know. Hmm. Hormone implants for Alliance soldiers that fall outside the Citadel's generic treaty laws? Ah. Uh, I feel like we shouldn't do that one because. Yeah, I don't know why, but I feel like we shouldn't do that one. Does the story change depending on what we do and what we don't? I really have no idea. That is some music. Good god. What's happened? That's some very dramatic music. Platinum Mining Company, the location of a planet rich. Yes, please. I need all the platinum I can get. And. Uh, yes, Liara. I'm glad you came. Shepherd. Oh, right, we can't speak anymore. Came. Okay. Delivery pickup. Ooh! Ooh, that's a lot of element zero. That is a lot of element zero. Okay, very nice. Advanced training. I don't think we do that yet, right? No. No, no, no. No. No need to customize. No need for the terminal just yet. This is some very loud music, I'll be honest. Very loud. Did I do that? Maybe it was me. There we go. Good God. Let's take a look at the video archive, because apparently this changes, um, and I'm still not 100% sure what I'm looking at when I look at this, but... Omega. Wait, this is new, isn't it? Whew. 
What would happen if I took Samara to Omega? Emily Wong, set it out. <laughs> okay. Fred Mazai, set it out. What are the Hanar up to then? We seem to be up to something. Donnell Udina, Omega. Is it now, Mr. Udina? Is it? Well, you do you, my guy. You do you. Armando Bailey, Citadel. Armando Bailey, okay, yep, we know him. Nothing too interesting David on here. Anderson, Citadel. Maybe we should go and check in on Anderson. I don't know whether anything that he has to say has changed, but... Praetor Gavon. Omega. Why can we see his room? Who was that? Praetor Gavon? Who's Praetor Gavon? Interesting, okay. Talisa bin Sinan Algilani, Citadel. Keeper 20, Citadel. Matriarch Atheta. Erdnot <laughs> Torsk, Tachanka. <laughs> Elias Kellum, Citadel. What was that? Was that given to Bailey? Looks like it. Okir test subject number 317, alias Grant. Ilium. What? Where was this? That's our guy, right? Or not? That has to be our guy. I don't remember taking him on Ilium, though. Or is he just free to do as he pleases? Interesting. He is very good. He is very good. Justicar Samara, Ilium. Oh wow, she is incredible. I will tell you that much. Is it even worth running? I mean, can I do anything with that information or not? I don't know. That music's cool. You know a, a game like franchise I've never played before and simply because I never had an Xbox? And that was the Halo series. Apparently that has really good music. Maybe I should try to play that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yes, return to Normandy. Right, what do we want to do? So we've got Tally's uh, focus mission, Fane's focus mission, and 
and Overlord to do. Um, let's have a quick look at the journal here. So, Fane, Tally, we'll probably get some Aras once we come back. Uh, oh, we still got to go back to Ilium and, yes, do that. Uh, arrival, we're waiting till the end of the game. Uh, and then we have Overlord. Maybe we will do Fane's mission and uh, the Overlord DLC all at once. I know a lot of you guys were saying that the Overlord mission is pretty good. And I can complete that at any time, or at least swap later into the game, so that, that might be worth doing now. Let's get some research though. Um, what do we need? Let's use... Ah, I think a few of you do use shotguns. We should really level that up a bit. See, that's what I don't like. The fact it takes you out of the menu for you to have to then go back in. That's what I don't like. Not so much that you have to keep speaking to the people, but even with the terminal, like, I don't like the fact it keeps pushing you out every time. Very annoying. Like, I don't understand why. Why? Why? Tell me why. I get there's, there's, there's like a little animation to it, which I'm happy to see for the first time. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to see the first time that happens, but my goodness. I just want to stay in the menu and upgrade everything. Yeah, I, maybe I'm being a bit silly. You know, it's not too hard for me to go in and do stuff. Uh, oh, we wanted the... Yeah, let's take the collector assault rifle, actually. So I do want to see what that's like. Uh, eviscerator shotgun. Yeah. Heavy weapon ammo. Ooh, increased capacity. Yeah, we might as well. Okay, right. Let's go to the citadel then. Buy some fish. And do Fane's loyalty mission. I think that's the plan. And then we're going to do Overlord. Maybe. Depending on how long this is. I think the video is already going to be fairly long. Mind you, I know I've, I've, I know I've recorded for about an hour. But I think... Um, maybe I haven't done as much as I thought. And I only have like 10 minutes of footage. Because a lot of it was looking at <laughs> Shadow Broker stuff. And just doing my own thing. But... Uh, fuel depot. Okay, buy fuel, yeah. Probes are looking good. Plot on mass relay jump. Let's go to, yep, the citadel. Let's help Fane. We, we've got a lot of planets that we haven't actually visited, by the looks of it, or a lot of systems. There she is. I always like this animation because it reminds me of when the Reapers were attacking it. It's quite cool. It's quite cool. Not the Reaper, sorry, not the Reapers. Sovereign and the Geth. Oh, oh no, it's the same animation. I thought I thought I unlocked something new there. I have not. I have not. Oh well. Oh well. Right. So it obviously, may who is this then? Is this a D DLC character I don't know about? Uh, can we take? Let's take Fane and let's take Samara. I think that's a pretty good team. I do want to take Samara to Omega as well. I just want to see if there's anything you know, that I don't know about. Like, it'd be quite cool for her to meet the um, the boss of Omega, the Asari lady, see if she has any interesting things to say. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. uh, Let's take the particle beam, bearing in mind we've got collector assault rifle, why not? Okay. Sidonis. That rings a bell. Who was Sidonis? Was that to do with Fane's son? Yeah, Fane's son was called Sidonis, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Fane's son. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many Drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a Drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. Okay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. Me? What? 
Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say I delete data like you on the way to real errors. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. <laughs> what was it you called, Mouse? The duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Yeah, that's probably not Aren't safe, no. Dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, oh, broken God. by a deadfall, Jesus. suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. And Mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. Yeah, what? No one's doing anything about this? I've heard enough. Mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy is running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. Wonderful, thank you ever so much. Okay. Why would you help? Why? Uh, well, I guess we might as well investigate that. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked at Kara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice. Because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Okay. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. Oh, Kolyat is his son, is it? And who the fuck is Sedonis? Why did what Sedonis rings a bell? Hold on, let me look up who Sedonis is because if he's dead, then obviously I already know about him. Of course, that was the one that was with um, Garen's Garen's Garrus's loyalty mission. We assassinated him, and they are looking into it. That's interesting. I didn't think they would. Uh, you didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. No, why he's would we? He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat, and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. Thank you, Shepard. Let's go get some fish whilst we're here. Welcome to I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Oh no, I missed the Citadel news. Welcome back. Hello. I'm just browsing. Of course. Take Give me the fish. Time. Yeah, all of those fish. And these time, this time, they will not die. Kelly will look after them for me. Perfect. Where, where's the news? Sorry. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Uh huh. Okay, interesting, interesting. Upstairs, outside the Dark Star, I believe that's the one where Emily Wong was dancing on the video. Emotions at Shepard's rumoured survival are mixed. While some are overjoyed to see him return, others believe his false death was a betrayal. Okay. Okay. I imagine the shops don't give me new items. Like, once I buy out a shop, there is just nothing else. Uh, might as well buy the rifle, sniper rifle, I guess. Okay. This should be Dark Star on the right. Yeah, yes, it is. Get that? No problem. Well, oh. okay, that might be more difficult. No, that's fine. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios, I thought you were tired. How can you tell the difference? I would have no Commander idea. Commander Shepard? I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> How do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. Ah. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. True. That's smart. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for... 
We don't have time for this. Uh, uh, God, Thane, help me. Help me, Mouse. My son is out there, in the dark. That's why I cared for him. Don't you want me to? Please. Explain. He, he came in, said he was looking for work. He had a hollow of me, the, the one you took, Krios. I put the word out. Use your old contacts. Elias wanted to hire him. Elias Kellum. Elias died, no? Was that the one that was just about Emily Wong was talking about? Or was it a similar name? Maybe Krillos or something. No, no, I want to buy the VI. Can I buy the VI? One other thing. That Shepherd VI you're selling? Oh shit, you heard <laughs> You were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. I want one, I do. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Sorry about the whole just so you know, there's three Volas who are patching it all the time. Good. How do I use it? Do we know? I should say sorry. Yeah, I, f I feel bad. Tell me about Kel. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in the big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. We should say sorry because it's not his fault. Like if, you know, he went to him wanting a target or had a hollow for him. Like he's not going to turn him down, especially if he thought Fane recommended him or gave him the go ahead to do it. He wasn't to know. Um, but hey, we we like a good renegade choice every now and then. So. I didn't want to do that, Mouse. We just don't have much time. Mm. Just go away, man. No. Mouse, I'm sorry too. Just go. Sorry, Mouse. I feel a little bit bad. Ah, uh, he is a criminal though, so it's not, why not too. <laughs> not, yeah. <laughs> that couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees, bare feet black, a dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then, but I left him as I left Kolyat. I like the fact that you guys said, and I, I should remember it really, but I didn't. But yeah, they have perfect memory, so they can just relive anything from their memory, which is really awesome, which is what he's doing when he's uh, going into that phase, which is quite cool. Mouse really said quite you cool. Had a hollow of yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios? He asks. Okay. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. I Let's do know that. Bailey. I do know that. Okay, where is... Oh yeah, Bailey's downstairs. Uh, yes. Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't oh. cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. Right. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? My <laughs> face. I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Well, yeah, let's him arrest him. In. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Perfect. Have a little bit of interrogation. Do we go renegade on this? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it's him. Oh, he was the one that passed a hollow to someone. Him. He pa We've got Kellum. Tell Bailey we're ready. Him. He. 
Earlier on, when we looked at the Shadow Broker things. You'll expect me to get it. Yes, Callum. Set it down. What was that? Was that given to Bailey? Looks like it. I'm out of this. Not today, I think. Captain, his lawyer's here. Ben Elias has his VI sent to page him if CSEC gets within 10 meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should question him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Hmm. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Okay, well we beat the crap out of him then. I have seen him before. Yeah, these restraints, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? Mr. Bold. I didn't think of that. You'll probably find our um, renegade isn't as isn't high enough for us to really be bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers, off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over your head. Pay attention, Mr. Callum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is going to cost you. Control your temper. Head? We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every bunch is another credit in my pocket. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> Chicken shit. <laughs> Think carefully, Elias. I want to catch the assassin, not you. Why stick your neck out for him? You want me to confess to putting a contract on someone? You think I'm stupid? I get the name, I walk out. You never see me again. I got no reason to believe you. You don't have a reason to disbelieve either. This isn't working, Shepard. We're making no progress. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. I'm done being ah! patient. Give me a name or I'll cut your balls off and sell them to a Krogan. All right, all right. Fucking quit it. I uh, ain't worth this. Well, there we go. Heavy touch was needed. Joram Talid. Victorian running for office on the Zakir Award. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You, you played me. <laughs> I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait, you got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? No, hell no, I'm not telling you. I guess you'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. Him. It's him on the left. Him. I need to speak with him. The guy. Him. The balding What's one. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram, yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? You haven't heard what the aliens have been saying? They think the Council died because our fleet refused to save them. That we stacked the new Council with humans and yes-men. Anderson does his best to be diplomatic, but they act like we're jackbooted thugs enforcing a coup. Hmm. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal of Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, it's sir. either Bailey or it's the other bald guy. I think it's the other bald guy because he looks very familiar. Do you remember when we were looking at the tapes? We saw him pass a hologram to someone. But then he approached a Turian in his flat. There Remember? He is. How do you want to play this? Does look like him. Follow to lead on the maintenance catwalks. 
tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Okay. Just don't get Where too close. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. I'm surprised not like more people know of Fane Kraos or recognize him. I'm on Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cool. That is a huge it's looking. Talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. You can count on it. Show the humans they won't get their way. I will, and I'll Update do it through thing. legal okay. processes, not by a coup attempt. And don't forget, my friends, there are treasonous elements in our own keeper. house. The human sees. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position. Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'll take it. Heavy pistol damage, nice. Oh. Yeah, me too. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he over there? Ah! I've got the best view here. Yeah. Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of call yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I think I'm, I'm maybe I'm meant to listen to him speak. I don't think I'm doing that. Uh, no problem so far. Where is he? There he is, okay. Do you have the target? Well yeah, I just want to listen to him. I've got him. I like the white uniform. Can you give me an update? Where is I'm almost in position. He's letting the bodyguard do all the work. That lets him deny involvement. Can I go through here? Oh, I can. Wait, who's that? That mouse? Hey, who are you? What are you doing back here? Uh I'm with the Citadel Health and Safety. We've had vermin reports in storage areas around here. What? Can't be serious. How did you get in here? If I didn't have authorization, how did I get in? You see any other doors? There's the keeper. Never mind. Just, just go on through, okay? Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just don't let my boss see you. No, I won't. That's the whole plan. I see him. Oh, me too. Good job. Oh, is that? Oh, is that? Is that Fane? Or not? Ah! Oh, yet. oh, oh Jesus. Oh. No, a Krogan hey, wouldn't go down that quickly. He's heading to the lead department. Oh. I like the color of him. Look at that. Is that just like a Drell's younger color, or? Cold yet. This, this is a joke. Now, now you show up. Help me, Drell. I'll do whatever you want. C-Sec. Put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. Oh no! What's going to happen I'll here? Have snipers outside. I don't need your help. <laughs> What the hell? Delete. Get the hell out of here. What was that for? Yeah, yeah, I will. That was a parrot. Take the choice? boy into custody. No. You son of a bitch. Your father doesn't have much time left, Paul Yen. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's a very cool voice actor, whoever it is. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. He's you a very cool character. Alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. 
They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. I like their armor. After her body was given to the deep, I went to find them. The trigger men, the ringleaders. I hurt them, eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Kolyat, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Kolyat and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I don't trust them. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. I don't trust his bald friend. Where's he gone? Clearly... Maybe I was wrong then. I thought I did see them passing information on the Shadow Broker's ship. Vane has dealt with his son. He should be clear of any further distractions. Vane's personal matter revealed troubling issues with Citadel politics. May have to support Ilias Kellum and similar criminals to counteract anti-human bias. Bailey at CSEC offers a possible recruiting opportunity. Recruiting opportunity? Recruiting opportunity? Is he my last member? Oh, Samara, I forgot you were with us. They've been in there a while. Yeah, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSEC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Oh, Sam's not coming out. How'd it go? Our problems are... They are something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. In theory, it would help against the anti-bias. Because he's helping you, aliens. You know, non-human. Well, Bailey, let's talk to you then, because apparently... Where's your bald friend? I'm not going to let that go, because... Is it you? It was not you. It looked like you, but it was not you. Yes? Can I bring him in, then? We've done all that. Maybe not. Maybe we can't bring him in. How'd you end up working on the Citadel? When I just want to skip this, the, because I think we've I joined C -C heard it all. In one place. Put down Do you like life here? Yeah, the like, I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sock ice. You ever get back there? Earth. But when I finish my stint with... Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, oh, talk to Fane. You'd think Citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy. I see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit. Eight of them existed when I was here ten years ago. Him! Him! That's the guy I don't trust. Why do I not trust you? You were on the... I'm sure I've seen him. Uh, okay. I guess we now go and do Overlord. That is what we go and do now. Um, but I guess we now have new... That's very loud. <laughs> very, very loud. We now have new voice... Voice lines and conversation to have on the ship. And thankfully my fish should hopefully be alive for the foreseeable, which would be nice. 
which would be nice. Let's go and check that first. Thank you, Kelly. We will catch up in a moment. Fish are good. Feed the fish. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Of course she does. I thought she might. I thought she might. Still alive. Greetings, Command. Oh, Detective Anya. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here, my superiors backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully next time I meet a Justica, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thank you. Well, I imagine we're about to find out more about her target, and if her loyalty mission has nothing to do with the Arkesh Yakshi, or the Yakish Arakshi, or however you say it, I'm not going to be happy. But Kelly, let's talk. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Samara would like to see you in observation on the crew deck. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Commander? That's That'll all. Be all. That I'll is all. I'll be here if you need anything. Thank you. Uh, right, let me go and upgrade the heavy weapons. Weapon upgrades, heavy pistol damage. Yes, please. And that should be it. Fully upgrade. Wonderful. More than any chips. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working between your interruptions and Edie's insistence that insane experiments endanger entire crew. Hard to concentrate. Affecting morale. Anything else? Have you got a minute to talk? Having trouble working. Anything else? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find I have a gun. I have a gun. I don't know if that would work. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Wonderful. Okay, good. Uh, so we need to go to the observation deck and talk with Samara. Probably go and speak with Tally, although I feel maybe... She won't have anything new to say until we deal with her a friendship. Loyalty mission is what I meant to say. Uh, okay, where is the observation? Port observation? I think that's Kasumi, right? It is, but anything to say? Hey, got a minute? I do. I'm glad to hear Thane and his son are back in touch. It'll be hard, but I think they'll be fine. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds a way. I have to say, that Jacob, mm -hmm. he seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a penchant for kleptomania. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Uh, star, there we go. Starboard observation. Samara, let's talk. I'm glad you came. Yeah, me too. Me too. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. Why? No, help is good. Help is always good. Shepard is here to help. It's all right. Just tell me what you need. When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous yes. person I was pursuing. Yes. Using the information you obtained, I have... I'm excited about this one. She's been going by the name Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Okay. Do you have that yakshi? Uh -huh. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is right now. In a month, she may be gone. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. That's a perfect opportunity. Where is she? Omega. <laughs> a nightclub called Afterlife, which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. I wanted to take her to Omega. Perfect. That works in our favor. That's great. Because she is going to hate Omega. My goodness. I'd be very surprised if she doesn't blow the place up. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life, and the reason I became a Justicar. Hmm. I feel like we're taking away your purpose in that case. Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. Mm -hmm. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds, but that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. 
Not the leader of Omega. Surely not. So is an Ardat Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Marin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, there is no gentle melding of nervous systems. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Well, let's go to point her out to me. We don't want anything like that happening, especially on the way that Shepard's going with his dating life. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asari literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worship them as gods of destruction. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. Uh -huh. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. Uh. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. This is definitely worthy of your full attention. She oh, no. confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. Fuck! I should have... God damn it, that's my fault. Sorry, guys. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. There is one thing more. This creature, this... Monster. She is my daughter. Ah. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Marinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free. But selfish. So, is Samara not a Ardat Yakshi? What a name, by the way. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do Don't not want her. pity, Shepard. <laughs> I do not that? accept it. My daughter's condition is my fault, and my redemption lies in killing her. Is that why she's a Justicar? Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. So, she's never going to mate, in a sense? Even though that's not necessarily what she does, but... Is that her abstaining? How did all this happen? Is she one? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Cry me a river, good God. It sounds terrible. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. I say too much. Forgive me. Help me find my long-lost daughter, and kill her. We'll go find Morinth. Maybe it's not the Lady in America then. Maybe it's not the, the leader. Right, let's have a quick word with Tally. You guys have anything to say? No, still nothing. Okay. Uh, where is life support? Oh no, that's Fane, but it'd be worth us speaking with Fane. Let's see how he feels. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. So the Hanar must be pretty crazy as well, right? The Hanar? Excessively polite, worship the Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? No, that's true. That's true. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. No. Well. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. 
You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. Why did your parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us, some of us, from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. Ah. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. Yeah, I was about to say, it sounds like slavery. This can't be legal. They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Sorry, my shoulder got a bit weird there. The Hanar sound like our oh, wimps. I thought you said gimps. My goodness. Okay. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, and the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. Okay. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies, Drell slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Nice, okay. Ooh. That's interesting to know. Very interesting to know. Okay, um, so yeah, let's head to engineering. Just see if Tally does have any additional dialogue or anything we can move forward. Um, and then go from there. I mean, to be honest, for some reason I'm starting to get more tempted in by Jack, and I don't know why. So, Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and boss? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that bucket. Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely, quite snug in all the right places. You know I can hear you. <laughs> Let's Whenever talk. we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. Uh, oh. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. Oh, the collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. They did? My upgrades might give us a better chance. I, well, I should hope so. What do we need for that? 15,000 palladium. Okay. I just need more palladium. That's fine. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. Uh, okay. No, she's, so she's not going to say anything time. now. Talk to you later. Until we do her loyalty. Which is fine. Oh, do I lock in Jack? I don't know. I don't know. I am. I am tempted. You know. Oh, I'm tempted. No. Hey. No. 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 I should go. I okay. can't. Definitely. I feel like I. I feel like I miss out on. Uh, it'd be nice to have the choice between Tally, Miranda, and Jack. Although, uh, you know, it is very real to me that Tally might be a boring choice. Bearing in mind. Probably a risk a human going up a quarian, but hey. Okay, Overlord? Should we do Overlord? Should we get that done? How long do you think that is? Good. Good. I think we can just go and do Overlord. I think we jump straight into it. At least that's the plan. 